Okay, so I just got back basically from the range. Um, I shot a few firearms. And here we have the Sphinx. Chris Sphinx SDP. Um, so I guess Chris and uh, uh, Sphinx um, joined forces um, to make a, an, an affordable Sphinx basically firearm. Um, it's been it was in the market um, a few years back. I'm not sure if they're still making these, but um, I bought it used, and as you can see, it's in pretty good condition. This firearm is made in Switzerland, and it came it came with uh, two magazines. It's compatible with the ZZ75 um, magazine pattern. Um, so I shot it today for the first time. I've had it like for over a year, never took it to the range. And I still have it and I ain't planning on selling it unless something uh, extraordinary happens. But yeah, I mean it has a decocker uh, made in Switzerland, made after the ZZ75 um, pattern or platform. Um, I like these kind of guns, like the Jericho, the ZC-75, the uh, map, uh, Rock Island map, the Tomfoglios. I have a uh, Tomfoglio Hunter, I think it is, in 45. Haven't shot that one yet. Um, so anyway, uh, to keep the firearm clear, uh, clean and safe, you need to um, learn how to field strip. It, it's just like um, any other ZZ-75. You line these two um, lines right here. You align them. Then you press the firearm. Always make sure they're clear. This one is clear. And some um, kind of a hurry here. I'll just clean it a little bit as as we talk here. Um, so yeah, I ran probably 20 rounds through it. Not much. Um, and they say pretty good stuff about these. If you look it on YouTube, um, it has a good reputation of being reliable. Um, you know, there's a channel that um, they run the gunglet, and he used to carry, I believe, a VP9, and and he, you know, he changed it for this one. He, I don't, I believe he's not carrying it anymore because. Um, they didn't have like a lot of support, aftermarket support like um, Glocks and other firearms uh, do. But uh, he was talking very good about it. He was saying very good things that uh, he dropped it in the mud and and did a lot of stuff, and the firearm kept working. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's it's a CZ75, basically all metal, I believe. I think it's aluminum on one part. Yeah, I think it's part polymer down here, and then aluminum, and then steel, or something. If you guys know, uh, write it down in the comments. Let me do this real quick. I don't want to take you guys, um, you guys' time, but I just want to, you know, clean it before we go to the barrel. So yeah, I'll just move it a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. So, I'll leave this part, gotta clean it. Swipe it down a little bit inside the rails. Three oh crap, I messed it up. Yeah, little oil can, little extra oil won't hurt anything except your hands, I guess. A lot of people hate this dropping all that oil in there. I've seen a few parodies and stuff. But uh sure. All right. Let's get that in there. Sorry for the camera uh job but um I'm doing this by myself. Okay, so just align everything and then put this back in. There you go. Function check. Here's the trigger. Very short reset. 
short reset. Very nice pull. And then double action is uh, it's not that great, but oh crap, it's not that great. As you can see, it's heavy. You know, I guess that that's the purpose of the double action. And let's do the weight on it. So it weighs two pounds, not uh, two pounds, zero point eight ounces. So you can see right there. So, and now let's do the trigger pull test. Okay. Take the magazine out again. Sorry, this video is taking so long. Okay, so 4.79 more 3.7. Three point thirteen. So yes, yeah, Sphinx is a very um so it's giving me an average of three point fourteen. So Sphinx is known for quality and competition, I believe. Um but they're very expensive. This one was not that bad. Um it was pretty affordable. I mean I bought it used, but there take uh, one last look around and see you at the range. See that that hammer right there. I don't know if that's Alright guys, let me put this straight so you can see the emblem or the logo, whatever. See you at the range.